This video is about configuring and creating bank deposits in Donation and also about exporting them from Donation and importing them into our Accounts Bookkeeping Program or into Intuit QuickBooks. The first thing to realize is that you do not have to use the Bank Deposits feature in Donation at all. For many users, using a report such as Reports, Donation, Summary by Category, with an appropriate range of dates. I'm just going to do that for September, which is the dates we're going to use bank deposits for. That would be the donation dates since your last bank deposit. That will be sufficient to give you the input required to do a simple entry into your bookkeeping or accounting software. For more complex situations though, or if you just prefer the automation of exporting the transaction from donation and importing it into accounts or QuickBooks, the bank deposits feature is available. You start the configuration for bank deposits with the maintenance configure bank deposits menu option. On that window select the accounting program you'll be using accounts, QuickBooks or another. As you can see with QuickBooks which we're going to select there's also the option as to whether you're using the classes features which is often used if you are doing any sort of fund accounting, although frankly QuickBooks isn't particularly good at fund accounting. So let's configure it that way with classes selected to see the most complex setup. From here click Save. That will then walk you through two further configuration windows, starting with the one that this Edit Accounts for Categories button would have also taken you to, and you can come back and use that button in the future for more configuration. Now as you'll see from this message that comes up the first time when we haven't done any association of donation categories with accounts in our accounting program it's just going to copy them over the first time. So we'll click OK and you'll see it's this is the donation category this is the accounting program account in the second column. Consult your chart of accounts in the accounting program and make any appropriate edits here to make sure they are correct. I'm just going to edit a few of these that I know I'm using to add the word donations to the account name. So general donations, library donations, oops, let's not capitalize it, and refugee committee donations. And you'll see from a previous configuration, I've already set up a class for this one. I'm just assuming that's the only one that we're using classes for in QuickBooks. So we can save that. Just as a note, when we're doing that same configuration for our accounts program, it doesn't need or use classes to distinguish which fund different income and expense accounts correspond to, so that classes column isn't there. So now we'll go on. This window is the same as maintenance, donation paid by values. Once you've done this initial setup for bank deposits, an additional checkbox column appears on this window, this one here, labeled Include in Bank Deposit. This allows you to uncheck any value that you use that is never part of a bank deposit you will make, presumably because that type of donation gets into your bank directly. That would usually include things like credit card, debit card, etc., and the program defaults to having those ones unchecked. Review the list and add any new paid by values you want to, especially ones where that should be unchecked and save and close. I'll just show you how you can check that and uncheck it. So we'll save that change, which we didn't really make, and close. So let's create a bank deposit with maintenance create bank deposit. We need to fill in the fields appropriately. The bank deposit date defaults to today's date, that's fine. Include donations starting on has to be filled in and determines which donation dates will be considered for inclusion in this deposit. However, unless you're editing an existing bank deposit, which you do by using a previously used bank deposit date, donations included in any previous bank deposit will never be considered for inclusion in this bank deposit regardless of their date. So let's enter this 9115 and we're going to do our bank deposit for September. Deposit to bank account allows you to type in or choose previously used accounts from the drop down list the exact name of the bank account in your accounting program that you are depositing to. So this does support depositing to more than one bank from donation. Having done that, click retrieve donations. That retrieves all donations that weren't included in a previous bank deposit. 
that are on or after the date you specified and that don't have a paid by value that was unchecked in that configuration window we did, like credit card, etc. By default, all of the retrieved ones will be checked in this include column, which means they'll be included in the bank deposit. If necessary, make changes to which ones are to be included by checking or unchecking things here, but in this case we're including all of them. When you're satisfied that the right donations are included and the displayed total deposit amount down here is correct, you can click Save. You'll probably have a process where the donations have already been totaled separately, e.g. with an adding machine or an Excel spreadsheet, to compare this total here too. Now print the report for it. You'll see that there are several sections to this report, all of which may be helpful to you. They are a detailed list of donations included in the deposit, summary by donation category, and that's using the category names from the donation program, summary by paid by, and then if we scroll down, the transaction for your accounting program. In this case for QuickBooks, it includes both the account names for your accounting program, and notice those are the ones we edited, and any classes used with them, as with Refugee here. You could just print that out and manually enter your transaction in your accounting program directly from this final part of the report. In fact, that is exactly what you would need to do if you were not using either our accounts program or QuickBooks, which Donation has a special export format for. In most cases, that would be very easy, because for most of our users, most bank deposits will only include donations for a few different donation categories. But since this first example is for QuickBooks, Let's do the export and import. We've closed the report and we'll click export on the bank deposit window. You then get a choice to email it to someone if someone else is doing the bookkeeping. But we'll keep it simple and answer no because everything is on this one computer. It exports the file and tells you exactly where to find it. Be sure to carefully note both the directory it's in and the exact file name. As you'll see later, with accounts, if it's on the same computer as donation, that is not necessary. So to import this transaction into QuickBooks, start it up. I've got it open, so I'll just reopen it here. Then, at least in QuickBooks 2012, you go to File, Utilities, Import, IIF Files. If necessary, navigate to the folder where the file was exported to. Fortunately, I've imported from that before in QuickBooks, so it knew to go there as the default. It's Users, Public, Public Documents, Cooper Stock Software, Donation, Export. And then we need to select the file. Is this one 2015-1009. Click Open or double-click the file, and it will say your data has been imported. One thing to note with QuickBooks is that if any of the accounts in the export file don't exist in QuickBooks, they will be created as part of the import with no notice to the user that it is doing that. We can now go into the check register for the desired bank account, it's TD Bank, and we can see that transaction that was imported, 10-9-2015. If you double click on where it says split, the splits information comes up and you can see that it exactly matches what was on that printout from donation. We've got the three categories, the correct amounts if you had that report in front of you, and this class refugee. So we can save and close that. Now let's go back to donation, close this, go back to the configuration of the bank deposits, and switch to using accounts instead. Click Save, and it goes to the window for associating the donation categories with the accounts program's accounts. Let's assume they're named the same, so close that. It goes on to the paid by values window. Again, we won't change anything there either. Now let's go back and re-retrieve that existing bank deposit. We do that by using the same inputs, 9, 1, 15, and the same bank, and click retrieve donations. When we do that, we get a message saying it notices that there's a previously saved bank deposit with this date in this bank account, and in this case, we want to edit existing deposit. Now, if we print it again, you'll see that this has changed to say transaction for accounts program, and the classes have gone away because, as we mentioned, accounts doesn't need or use classes. So, close that and click export. This time, the program figures out that accounts is installed on this computer, and it offers to have it automatically do the import. That's not possible with QuickBooks. Let's answer yes. 
Now answer yes to this question, which is from the Accounts program, confirming that you do want to do the import. With Accounts, if there are any account names in the export file that aren't already in its chart of accounts, the import is rejected and you get a message saying exactly which ones were missing. You could fix that in either or both of Donation, by configuring the account names for the donation categories, or accounts, by changing account names or adding missing accounts. But in this case it worked, and it says so. We can open the register for that bank account by double-clicking on it, TD Bank, and then click into this deposit, notice it's got the same date, and then press Control S or click this Splits button to see the splits. I'll just tab out of there get that drop down away. Again they correspond to what was on the printed report. Same total, same categories, and the correct amounts. So we can close everything in the accounts program now and go back to donation. You will see that you are still given an option to email the transaction. We'll answer no and then we can close this window. One other thing to notice with accounts that is more convenient than with QuickBooks is that if you open or run the exported file on a computer with accounts installed, for instance from the email attachment if we emailed it, it will start up and offer to do the import for you, just like we saw earlier when it was started directly from donation. With QuickBooks, you'd have to save that email attachment somewhere you could find it, open QuickBooks, and do the import manually. The final thing I want to show is the bank deposit reports. The summary list report shows one row for each bank deposit in the current year with the totals and the dates. We'll close that and try the one deposit details report. That lets you select from the bank deposits in the current year. We'll choose the one we just did. And you get the same exact report that we could get from the print button in the create bank deposit window. There are more details, including points about editing existing bank deposits to correct errors, deleting bank deposits entered in error, handling donations with an advantage in Canada called split receding, etc. in the help topics in donation on bank deposits. That's all I've got to say in this video about bank deposits. Thank you for listening.